Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my program. I appreciate you wherever you are connecting from. If you are joining me from any part of the world, I thank you very much for your contributions on this channel. Please kindly subscribe if you have not subscribed and also click the notification bell so that you be notified each time I upload a video. You will be among the first to receive it. In this channel, I bring information to your doorstep. I bring news from all channels, from every angle. Things that have to do about the world, things that have to do about Africa, more especially Nigeria. I bring it to your doorstep. Some informations that you ignore, some information that you cannot be able to come across. I look for them, I bring it to your doorstep for you to see. Every video you see on this channel is for educational purpose, to keep you up and get you aware of what is happening in the contraption called Nigeria, more especially. I bring the information to your doorstep. They are not lies. Most of the videos you're going to watch here are videos that are coming from the conventional media. And some of us sometimes are lazy to get into it. Some of us are, sometimes are too busy to be able to lay our hand on this. That is why I bring the videos to your doorstep. Watch from beginning to the end. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes so that you can be educated and know what is going on. Let us watch together. At the end, you can go to the comment section and put down your comment. Give your opinion. Say it the way you feel it. Nobody's going to come against you. It's a free world, and this is the social media where people say it and set the record straight exactly the way it is without being controlled. Do that on the comment section. Let us watch the video together as it comes. Thank you. So we do not know, of course, when we make this announcement, those that uh, are communicating with them may you know, like them to change their tactics and plan. So it is important we made this public. There is also a heavily armed group of Fulani terrorists in uh, where in uh, Ore, in uh, Ore, Ore, you know, a place called Ore, Ore, I think Ore is the Ibini uh, Lagos uh, Expressway. Uh, if you're know, going down to Ibini, those areas have now, in the last two weeks, uh, there has been the influence of a lot of uh, Fulani terrorists in that Ogun. And probably so, those of you uh, applying that road may take a uh, very precaution on this because the attack. It's not just about kidnapping. They're going to start attacking that place from December 15. We also have a, a very powerful, another strong intel in Delta State. Delta State in Kwale. In Kwale, Delta State. In Kwale, Delta State, another group of insurgents uh, that have arrived in Kwale. They, uh, uh, this uh, Kwale have over 500 heavily armed Fulani, Fulani uh, terrorist with bike. So, and uh, of course, uh, we, you know, in Delta State, Delta is a, is a Biafra, a Biafra land. So we are, we are not going to talk about how we're going to, but they know that uh, they can't excel. They can't flourish in Biafra land. We have started, you know, again from today, from Enugu State mm -hmm. and, uh, and uh, of course, everything is not going to be on social media, uh, but uh, they will know that uh, actually Biafra land is a mistake. And then also those of them that have come to attack, attack a Hamufu, like I said before, we are engaging, uh, doing the necessary thing, preparation to make sure that uh, a Hamufu people, uh, they are secured. Anyway, ZK also is witnessing the same thing, but of course they are being aided by the Nigeria military and the Nigeria DSS and all that. So. Uh, you know that uh, the Biafra struggle is not a fight. Liberation is not a liberation of whom has it. It's not a, it's not a child play. So we are fighting this thing from all front. We fight the terrorists in uniform. We fight the terrorists from Sahel in the bush following cows. We fight all corner. So it is not just uh, focusing on fighting the terrorists from the Sahel. If that is what we are fighting, it is going to be very easier. So we are fighting from, from all front. But I'm telling you that... Uh, the land of Biafra, you know, is uh, is dealing with them. We are also not fighting. We are also fighting the other terrorists. They call the Bubago. You know how they hire them and they train them to come. And uh, some of you may be seeing some images. You know how the Biafrans are dealing with them. We are dealing with them. We are in liberation. It is not. Uh, we are not hiding it. So when they come to kill us, you will see at the end of the day, their blood will be littered in Biafra land. So nobody is going to come to kill us. And the person will go back free. I am telling you the fact. So you will be, you may be seeing the images as they come. If you just see them, you just ignore the image and let us move on. Make sure you support the Biafra struggle. We are now hundred days to go. This is hundred days. 
you know when somebody is elected into office 100 days determines whether the person is going to they will say your first 100 days in office so we have just 100 days to go and i want to make something very clear when people when they you know when they you know like these uh, criminals you know they are like kind of surprised why why well, you know 100 days in biafra the 100 days means that first of all we are going to make sure that Nigeria did not conduct election in Biafra territory. That is number one step. And within these 100 days, we are going to achieve that. We are going to achieve it that Nigeria will not conduct election in Biafra territory. Today, I can assure you that Biafra flag is flying everywhere. And, you know, all the flag, some of the flags are still flying. They are flying in the market in Biafra. They are flying on the street. They are flying on the road. And the flag continue to fly, unlike before. Unlike before, when they see uh, Biafra flying, people will rush. Oh, they, they will remove it and remove it. Today, Biafra flag is flying even in the market. And I will like to bring to the screen some of the flag that is flying in the market in Biafra land. You know, for you to understand that uh, it is uh, talking. About and talking and talking so let us uh, let me bring to you you know of course whenever you see the flag you can always make a video and uh, share with, with, your, with your friends to see that the spirit of Biafra is now abrisen and that is what you can do about it nobody if you like go and take it down it's your business but let me tell you the the Biafra spirit have risen and nothing anybody can do about it. So here we go. following place you must be very very vigilant starting from december 1st lagos lagos state from intel has large number of the fulani terrorists inside lagos and the place targeted attack will start from baga is it bega ba uh, baga is it baga in lagos a place called baga in lagos is being targeted and everybody staying in Baga, Lagos must be very, very vigilant and watchful from the 15th, a beggar, from the 15th of December. Very, very important. The second place that from our intel is that the Lagos people, most of the military in Lagos are foreigners. The Nigeria do not have military personnel, enough military personnel again, and they are now pumping, pumping in those uh, 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 jihadists from uh, other countries, and they are giving them military uniforms. So most of the military men you see in Lagos today are no longer Nigeria military men. So, and then of course, you are going to be advised not to go out in the night. Wherever, uh, you know, wherever you go, make sure that 6 o'clock, latest 7 o'clock, you are already back to your place. So if the attack is coming, you know that you are in your home where the attack comes. Another place where the, uh, where the attack, targeted attack, 
that will take place is in Ogun State. Ogun State in a place called Agoweremo. Agoweremo in Ogun State has been surrounded. Agoweremo in Ogun State is where the Ogun State University is. We are calling on Oduduwas. Of course, this we have done, uh, you know, we have, we have briefed uh, our uh, our Oduduwas because we share intels. We share, uh, you know, one of the things we do is to share intel. So we share security, uh, uh, you know, issues like this with them. So, but now it is very imperative that we announce this publicly. Uh, the Ogun State University in Agoweremo has been surrounded by the terrorists and they are planning to start attacking them any moment from now. We also have intel that Ogereremo in Ogun State, a place called Ogereremo in Ogun State, has been surrounded by the Fulani terrorists, heavily armed, and the attack may start any moment from now. If you are in Ogun State in a place called Ogereremo, you have to be very vigilant from now. We are calling on the Odudua people to go into action to go to these places they have been surrounded. All of you remember that last time before, previously, I used to make this, uh, you know, similar announcement uh, in the past, before even the formation of Amoteko. It was most it was because of most of the test reports we gave to do the was that led, the, led to the formation of Amoteko because most of the things we said in those times actually was true. So they went to the forest, they saw themselves, and they set up the Amoteko. And all of you see how... Uh, the whole thing happened and uh, how it went. So now it is time again to start what we know how to do best. So in that Ogereremo in Ogun State, it has been surrounded by the heavily armed Fulani uh, terrorists and they will start attacking that place any moment from now. In another place in Ilesha, Ilesha Remo in Ogun State, Ilesha Remo in Ogun State has been surrounded by this part. I don't know what they, I don't know what is going on in Ogun State. I think the target is Lagos. I don't know what is in Ogun State. Why is it that everything is in Ogun State? Ogun State have a presence of heavily, heavily armed uh, um, um, uh, Fulani terrorists. And I do not know what is in Ogun State. Is there something they are not telling us? Ogun State, does it, does, do they have some kind of mineral or something that we don't know? Because, you know, where they normally uh, go is all. Are they, you know, is it like they're from there, you know, attack Lagos? I don't know, but this is the intel we have, very, very reliable intel. We are not joking, like you all know, we don't just come to, to say nonsense. So do the work and go into these places I mentioned it today, and uh, if they can, they, have more, they must go there, you know, well armed, because they, these people are very, very armed. Another place that people must know that the attack is coming very soon is a place called Ikene Remo in Ogun State. This Ikeneremo in Ogu State is the Awolowo, Awolowo village. Awolowo village has been surrounded, and the attack in this Awolowo village will start happening any moment from now. We must make sure that we are our brother's keeper, and that's what we are doing. The, uh, another uh, area that has been surrounded by this particular uh, terrorist is a place called J4. J4 in Ogu State. Therefore, in Ogun State, when you are going to Ondo, in that uh, particular forest, J4 in Ogun State has been surrounded by heavily armed Fulani terrorists. And they are going to start attacking that place every moment from now, any moment from now. Our intel suggests that the attack will start from the 15th of December. So we do not know. Of course, when we make this announcement, those that... Uh, are uh, communicating with them may you know like them to change their tactics and plan so it is important we made this public there is also a heavily armed group of fulani terrorists in uh where in uh, ore in uh, ore ore you know a place called ore ore i think ore is the the bini uh lagos uh, expressway uh in you know, going down to bini those areas have now in the last two weeks uh there has been the influence of a lot of uh, Fulani terrorists in that Ogun. And probably so, those of you uh, plying that road, 
may take uh, very precaution on this because the attack is not just about kidnapping. They're going to start attacking that place from December 15. We also have uh, a very powerful, another strong intel in Delta State. Delta State in Kwale. In Kwale, Delta State. In Kwale, Delta State, uh, another group of insurgents uh, that have arrived in Kwale. The, uh, uh, this uh, Kwale have over 500 heavily armed Fulani, Fulani uh, terrorists with bike so and uh, of course uh we you know in delta state delta thank you so much for watching i hope you have been educated with this video i hope you have learned something from the video you just watched please go to the comment section and put down your comments whatever you think about the video you have watched or anything you have learned that you wanted to share together go to the comment section and keep yourself busy it's a free place where people share their opinion and please if you have not subscribed to this channel, kindly subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time a video comes out. And also, share the video to your family and friends. Share it to all platform so that people can get aware of what is happening in the world, mainly in the contraption called Nigeria. We have to keep people on their toe, keep people informed on what is going on. That is exactly what we are doing. Every video you are watching in this channel is for the purpose of education and nothing more. Thank you so much for watching. And remember us. Bye-bye. See you again.